birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Your influence wasn't confined. 
lessons that students learn become part of any formal syllabus. The values of kindness, patience, respect and hard work you demonstrated day in and day out become part of the hidden curriculum. And for that, we are all grateful. Though today marks the end of your teaching career, your influence will continue to ripple through the lives of the students you taught and the colleagues you supported. Your legacy is not something that will be. It's something that will endure in every student who applies the lessons you taught. Teacher Arthur, you've earned your retirement. But we know that teaching is more than a job. It's a calling. And that passion will live on in everything you do next. Thank you for everything you've done for the school. And for every life you've touched. You will be deeply missed. We wish you nothing but joy, relaxation and new adventures in this next chapter of your life. Congratulations and enjoy your benefits of retirement. And as we celebrate your 60th birthday today, we pray to God to continue sharpening His choices lessons on you. Happy birthday.
19 years, teacher Maria Aurora Silvana. They say meeting is a pleasure and party is a pain. That's exactly what I feel right now. Teacher Aurora embarked on her journey at SFX in 2005, witnessing the school's growth for the past 19 years. She began her teaching career in the year 1984 after working at Our Lady of Grace Bichurim and Anjuman High School till 2005. Later, she joined at SFX on 8th October 2005, thus completing 40 years in this noble profession. I still remember my seniors hoping to get a good teacher in the year 2005 and right in time walked in a sweet, smiling, evergreen lady who still remains the same since then. She is a simple person and very down to earth. A woman with great values which she has imparted in her two children. When we see Ashriya and Melquis, we understand how well they are brought up by the parents. Hats off to your teacher for raising such lovely children. Teacher Aurora was born on the island of Satisteva and married to a handsome and a cool guy, Mr. Manel Alvarez. Teacher Aurora is slow to anger, very calm, composed and good natured. She has a motherly touch. She is a good listener and is a peace-loving person. Although there were many ups and downs in her life, she has conquered it with her patience and silence. As a teacher, she has imparted knowledge to her students. She knew every student well and appreciated them. She was always eager to learn many things and would be the first one to complete her schoolwork, thus waking some of us from our slumber. She would never be anxious or worried, even when COVID brought changes in the education. In fact, she took it up like a challenge and braved it the strong. Teacher Aurora loves adventure and traveling. She enjoys cooking, stitching, dancing, singing, acting and gardening too. She is an ever ready person for any picnic or outings. She worked with anyone and everyone without saying a word of her preference. Her text was a helpline to many of us during our worst times. One could find anything there, scissors, needle, thread, safety pins, a nail cutter, etc. She loves to be in the company of young teachers and that is the secret of her looking young and energetic till today. Her students love her and describe her as a kind, approachable, friendly, motherly and loving teacher. Her teaching was simple. 
She was well organized and punctual. Every morning she would greet me loudly in the staff room. I have always seen her working as a class teacher for the last 19 years without grumbling or complaining. I am sure she is the favorite teacher of the students in the middle school. My encounter with her. My connections are different with different people. Some connections are of the heart, some of the mind, and some of the soul. Well, Teacher Agara, I had great personal connections with her. My bond with this family grew deeper during the Kulu Manali trip when her husband carried my little Gudia along the way. Being a pious lady, I could seek her help for many prayers that we shared together. We would talk about our somodais, liturgies and meals. I will miss it now. The quiet chats I would have with her about our personal and family problems gave us both comfort and solace. She was one such person I could talk about any problems as she is a good listener and kept secrets. At times we disagreed on many issues but we never kept grudges. It pains me to see her leaving the school. It is like losing a piece of my heart. To meet a woman who can hold everything in her heart without grumbling or complaining is the greatest treasure I hold in my heart. Let me conclude with the lyrics of Psycho Prophets. I can see it in your eyes that you are restless. The time has come for you to be. It's hard to let you go. But in this life, I know you have to be who you were made to be. As you step out on the road, I will say a prayer. So that in my heart you will always be there. This is not goodbye. I know we will meet again. So let your life begin. Because this is not goodbye. It's just I love it to take it until you are home again. Thank you, Teacher Abara, for all your service. May God bless you. As she bids farewell to this institution, I, on behalf of my colleagues, would like to wish her all the best in her retired life. Dio Kore Kuru, Ali Sodas Mogasu.
Pain Master, Reverend Father Dilip Teke, Reverend Father Marcus de Souza, my colleagues, and you, my dear students. Good morning to you all. I thank God for giving me this day to stand before you. Mahatma Gandhi said, The best way to find meaning for ourselves is by losing ourselves in the service of others. And I would say, teaching is the best opportunity to serve. Because it is not just teaching, but it is giving your life to guide, to correct, to direct, to mend, and to take care of so many young minds. I am going to leave this institution with satisfaction, knowing that I have done what I was supposed to do as a teacher, because I considered my profession as a vocation. I am happy that I got to touch life of many students in this 40 years of my teaching career. And I am very grateful to God for keeping me in good health of body and mind till today to serve. My special address to you, my dear students. I am happy that I am retiring. At the same time, I am sad because I will miss I will miss you all. All your laughter, your naughtiness, your fun. I am here today because of you. And it was on and it always gave me immense pleasure to be with you and it But it was my duty to correct you in school as your second mother. I'm sorry if I have hurt your feelings knowingly or unknowingly. My advice to you, my loving children, be self-disciplined. Think to yourself what you are doing is right. Don't do it because others are doing it. Obey your parents and teachers in school. Learn to give respect and to gain respect. Give a smile to all. Be good. Do well in your studies. May you shine like a star everywhere and wherever you go. I am proud of you, my student, and I love you all. I thank the Felicitation Committee for doing all this arrangement to celebrate my birthday. I will always cherish this memory. I thank Father Santo, Father Edward Kumar, Father Dilip, Father Marcos for your guidance and support always. I thank Teacher Lydia, Teacher Lisa, and her class for putting up the assembly. The prayer service and fifty and taking my feature hiding from the corner. 
I thank teacher Nikisha and for the group, teacher Zalinda, teacher Sharon and her team for the lovely performance on the screen. I really enjoyed it. I thank the junior aid girl, Mrs. Shruti Vaidankar, Ms. Riddisha Obekar and my little angel Lenora and teacher Angela Cabral for your loving, caring and touching words and for your blessing too. Which makes me feel that I'm really blessed to be with you here. I thank each and every member of the staff teaching and non-teaching for your support and cooperation which helped me to do my work always in the school. And I thank you my children for patiently waiting to always to listen to me when I entered your class. I thank each and every one of you. God bless you.
birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.